All right. One of the last toys we're setting up on this test outing is a four camera motion sensing alarm system by First Alert. It's a wired system, four wires. The main terminal's here, and the four cameras, which I'll show you, are activated by motion. And it records this device onto a two gigahertz SD card. And we're trying to figure out a way right now to run the video output to a laptop or a monitor to be able to uh, see what uh, video out is coming from uh, one of the four cameras in a given time. You see now we got a field of spaghetti with cords going everywhere. Not necessarily the most optimum setup, uh, but like I said, we're just testing our systems for future outings. I'll take you over to the first camera. Decided to set it right on top of the 4x4 post that we're using for the perimeter alarm. So right there, you'll see the perimeter alarm, the large black box, and right above it is the camera, the lens at the top, and the white area towards the bottom is the motion sensor. So the way the system works ideally is anything walks in front of it, it sets off the camera. And of course, if it walks in front of the perimeter sensor, it'll set off the alarm too. Two separate systems, but I just use the opportunity of that uh, four by four, four post to put uh, one of the four cameras on top of it. And what we're doing in this configuration is we're setting up the cameras to look into camp. And the reason we're doing that is when it gets dark, we're only gonna have a couple of light sources uh, to illuminate the camp. One of them is going to be, again, the tripod mounted video camera that has LED lights around the lens. And I also have a, another LED, it's a separate light, I haven't set it up yet. It's a 44 LED light uh, that I'll set somewhere over here looking into the camp to uh, basically improve the camera resolution with the infrared light. So when the cameras do activate, they'll be uh, assisted, the resolution will be assisted by the LED lights. So that's one camera over there looking in the camp. Over here to the right through the woods here is another camera I set up. Like I said, no special place, uh, just generally looking in the camp from different angles. And of course I use white duct tape uh, when we go full bore on uh, the setup in our future outings, we're going to camouflage things a lot better. Uh, the black video cable is not much of an issue as far as concealment. So that's two cameras. There's two more cameras on the opposite end of the van. I go through camp here. Steve is hard at work. The techie that he is, getting things figured out. Don't ask what the balloons are for. I'll tell you later. Okay, time. it's Bigfoot's birthday. Okay, here's a third camera behind the vehicles bungeed onto a tree. And the last one is going to be on the driver's side of the van. I got it on ground level. We follow the video cable. To this little stump here. And that's our fourth motion activated camera. So with the four cameras we have right now, plus the tripod mounted camera, plus, if you can see it over here, I'm not gonna zoom. I actually have two cameras strapped together in my hand here, excuse me, two camcorders strapped to my hand together. So Steve's camcorder and mine going at the same time. And there's the wireless camera, the black and white that is monitoring this angle of camp. So we have a total of six cameras that we can actually monitor and operate from inside the van, the command center. And uh, we should be able to record anything that comes into camp. Now the reason for the multiple cameras, uh, our thinking is if we get something on camera from multiple angles from different cameras, 
from different sources, it will stand to maybe uh, validate the video or the pictures uh, because there's always going to be people who say it's a fake picture, it's a fake video, it's photoshopped, or what have you. Well, our thinking is multiple cameras, multiple angles, uh, try to fake that. And that's going to be hard to do. Now, we still have the tripod mounted uh, night vision device out here. Now, we're just testing it. It's not going to stay out here tonight. We're going to think of a, a place to put it later tonight, maybe on a tripod on top of my van or, or Steve's Jeep. Uh, the actual night vision device only has about a three or four hour battery life when it's operating in night vision mode. And actually, on the very left hand side, next to the big lens, is an IR illuminator, which is right here. The IR illuminator basically is more infrared that assists in the resolution uh, of the night vision. Uh, running just on night vision only, you use, uh, it uses ambient light from the stars and the moon, what have you, and it takes that ambient light and amplifies it to a night vision uh, video. With the IR illuminator, that looks more like a pen light, what that does is assists in the ambient light and gives you a little bit better of a picture. Of course, there's limitations to that. It, the uh, IR illuminator doesn't project the infrared light very far, but it's, it assists in the same fashion that my uh, security camera here with the IR LEDs around the lens, it lights up and uh, helps with the resolution of the video. Anything we take pictures or video of at night, it's not going to be crystal clear like you would in the daytime, obviously. But uh, we honestly think that Bigfoot, hey Steve, is a nocturnal, primarily a nocturnal creature. And we're hoping that uh, if we get visited, which we may not tonight, we might not ever get visited, but if we do get visited, we're going to be ready. And like I said, this is July 1st, 2009. And basically, we're, our outing here, we're just testing our new equipment, some of our new equipment, some of the equipment we've had for a while. The, the third generation night vision and the gimbal it sits on top of is new. The four camera system is new. The perimeter alert MERS system is new. And a lot of the other stuff we've had for a little while. Before I sign off this segment, I've got to show you the ultimate sticker on Steve's Jeep. And he's going to get me a couple of these. He bought them on eBay in search of Sasquatch. Is that awesome or what?